about today is just one piece of kit that we can employ for what we call solo training. So this is geared towards somebody who trains in the majority on his own, in his garage, or in this case, in his barn. Someone that has an average amount of equipment, but in this case has a bop or a body opponent bag or some kind of mannequin human form shaped dummy. So what I want to look at is the pros and cons to using a dummy for solo training. First thing to understand is solo training is not the best way to train. You want a threefold approach, preferably group class tuition from somebody who has a, a reputable instructor as well as maybe private tuition as well as maybe partner training as well as solo practice. So solo practice is really a supplement to all those other aspects of training. By itself it's not going to get you where you need to be but it's still very useful um, if that's all that's available to you. You don't necessarily need a, a bob or a body opponent bag. You can make use of a um, heavy bag or an army kit bag filled with lots of different stuffing but the particular theme of what we're looking at here is if somebody has a bob or some kind of dummy, spar pro, anything like this by design that's available on the market. Some of the ways in which we can use it. Pros and cons to it. First of all, it's got human shape, um, anatomical targets, which are very, very useful, particularly if you're primary targeting the eyes, throat, and groin kind of area. The targeting in the combatives is generic, so we're looking at the high line, anywhere from here up 360 degrees around the head. Tend to stay away from the midline, although it is employed, and of course the groin, anywhere from the pubic bone down to the feet. So to simulate the groin on this kind of old type bob, we're going to, uh, we, we stuck a, a shield or a strike shield here to, to give a padded surface to strike. Of course, the base is filled with sand, ballast or water to give it stability. But it still simulates a low line structure which we can employ. So on the pro side, we've got anatomical targets that are very useful, as opposed to just hitting a bag. Because when you work the bag, you tend to work it around the height of your nipple or shoulder area, not focusing on head targets, unless you do something primary like put stickers on it or articulate a target with a felt pen. So here we're looking to target the throat, the jawline, the skull, etc. Very useful for that. Also, it's 